All right, I'm excited to have with us today a couple of wellness advocates on my team. They've been building for almost four years. Um, their names are Rudyard and Belle Viscato. So, I'm so excited for them to join us. The most exciting news is that this amazing couple has just reached the rank of premier with doTERRA, and we are so, so, so excited for them. They had 16 enrollments on their team and eight of those were personal enrollments themselves. And we, I wanna just be able to let each of you hear from them what they're doing. They're a very busy family. They have two young boys. Um, they love spending time together and, and they love working hard, but they've set a goal to not only be premier and to continue to rake advance with doTERRA, but they wanted to be able to qualify for the Southeast Asia incentive trip to Taiwan in February of 2020. And two weeks ago, when doTERRA released the, the rankings on the leaderboard, Rudyard and Bell were the only Filipino wellness advocates on that board. And we were so excited for them. Yay. And yeah, we wanted to give them a chance to share some of their thoughts and be able to give you an opportunity to learn from them and what they have been doing. So Rudyard, Thank you for being on the call with me, as well as Belle. And I would just like to let you take a few minutes and, and share with us um, why you decided to qualify, to work to qualify for this incentive trip. Well, thank you, Elise, for having us in the call. So uh, to answer your question, we, we as family love to travel. Um, however, the kids are already going to big school and you know expenses are going up and we are not sure if we can still afford to travel together as family very soon so when we saw the announcement of uh, doTERRA incentive trip we were so excited so we thought that it could be our chance to travel again so we decided to take on the challenge and double our effort to share the oils and enroll wellness advocates but we were really surprised to see our name in the list. We are not expecting that we will be part of it. And even the only one in the Philippines. Um, though it's so early to say, but we are happy that we were recognized. I guess uh, it gives us uh, motivation to do more and continue to the finish. Awesome, awesome. And Rudyard, I've been so impressed as I have worked with you and Belle, that you've, you've been able to look at maybe excuses that people might have, and instead of those excuses, you're finding solutions. So why don't you share with us what you've done to be a point leader for this incentive trip? Well, it's not easy. Uh, we decided to get out of our comfort zone. Uh, we thought that we should start going out there and start teaching classes and talk to people face to face and share the benefits of the oils uh, in the per personally. Um, this is far from what we have been doing in the past. We just share messages and post through social media and wait uh, if someone will show up and show or show interest in the oils. So we decided to um, partner uh, some of our downlines. Uh, one of these is from Buhol was also um, uh, um, avid and a wellness advocate, uh, Duterte wellness advocate, and who loves the oils very much. So we conduct, we decided to conduct class there. It was my first class that I conducted alone. I was so I was grateful it came out well, and we got a number of enrollments. Um, and we uh, started to open our home also to friends so we can teach them about the oils um, in the house and we um, we started to set up appointments one-on-one uh, -on -one appointments I'm grateful that our effort uh, so far had brought good fruit uh, we are also grateful for our upline Elise uh, for patiently and consistently encouraging us during our accountability calls um, twice a month. Thank you very much, Rick and Elise, for your support and all you do for us. Well, it's fun to support people who are working hard 
and, and are able to see the fruits of their labors. So I would say it's definitely pays us back tenfold. It's, it's awesome to work with you. So um, tell us a little bit about this class in Bohol. This, I've taught some classes with you before, but this was the first class that you have taught on your own. Did everything go perfectly as planned for you? Well, um, I was hoping it'd be perfect. I tried my best to prepare, but um, I, I guess I don't have the confidence yet. So I, I decided to uh, use some tools uh, for my first class. If, if, if you can only imagine, um, I brought my mother's TV into the venue so that I can use a video um, that will help me uh, during the class. So I just play the video and then once it arrives to the uh, the part where she, um, the oils were shared, I just pause the video and share my own testimony and share the oils, uh, um, the different, the top 10 oils. And then um, I was happy that I was able to finish the class and I thought that after that, maybe I can do this next time, maybe on my own without the video, but yeah, so that's what it's like. So where did you find this video? Is this something that you bought or something that you made? Well, um, I do some research and there, there were a lot of videos in the doTERRA, um, um, website and I got one that I I thought that would uh, be a perfect uh, tool for my class so it's all actually you can find this in online I, I can I actually after the class I shared it to all those who uh, enrolled during the time so they, they can also share the videos to their friends that's great. So doTERRA does have a lot of free resources and I, I applaud you for getting in and finding the resources that you needed to, to feel confident with your class. And, and I know you don't feel like it went completely perfect, but you were very prepared in talking with you. I know that you took the time to be prepared and you made the personal connection with people that they needed to be confident in enrolling. So in listening to what you're sharing with us, you're basically telling us that getting out of your comfort zone, opening your home up to people to share oils, scheduling one-on-ones and creating a personal connection with people is, is, are the things that you decided to focus on this last month. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Please. And then the other piece that you um, talked about a tiny bit was an accountability call. And so I wanted to just share a little bit with that. When Rudy Art and Bell shared with me that they had a goal to hit silver and to be leaders with the incentive trip, we scheduled an every other week accountability call where we talk about what's working for them, what's not working, support specifically that they need from me. And I am able to teach them skills and share with them different tools that are available that they can be using to build. And I agree, Rudyard, that having that accountability is very important. As a diamond, I myself still have a bi-weekly accountability call um, to keep my business on track and to keep myself growing. So is there anything else that you would like to share with those that are watching this video? Um, I just want to encourage and invite everyone to join the incentive trip promo to Taiwan, I'm sure it would be more fun if we all would qualify together and travel together as a team. Thank you. For sure. Yes, awesome. And I, I am excited to have as many Filipinos there as we possibly can. Rick and I can't qualify, but we are saving our money to be able to be there with you all as well and have an amazing um, team party there in Taiwan. So Rudyard and Bell, thank you for staying up late tonight and sharing some of these tips with us for building a business. And just like Rudy Yard said, I hope that so many of you will also see that it's possible to be a leader in this incentive trip and to increase the enrollments on your team by increasing the amount of people that you are sharing doTERRA with. So thank you so much and we'll talk to you guys all later. See you later, Rudy Yard. See you, thank you, Ali. Bye-bye.